Hi and welcome to my next video. And um, have a look, people. It's my hardware. Um, I'm going to grab a drumstick as a pointer. Here we go. At the top, we have da 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 from England, a drummer M500. Uh, from the United States, but made in Japan, I believe, a Lexicon LXP15. And this is kind of a broken piece of gear that I got on eBay called a Clark Technic. Um, Clark Technic. Um, anyways, it's a programmable filter and uh, delay. Programmable filter and delay. And at the bottom is my patch bay. Tiny telephone patch bay. Okay. So the tiny telephone patch bay is connected to all of these three. And it also has an input for my PC audio an output to my PC audio and it has an input for hardware audio so I can connect up a, a synthesizer etc. Okay, sorry about that feedback. Okay, so now um, let's play a little bit of music. This is uh, coming from my computer music. Bypass. It's a uh, patch bay is connected to my drummer M500 at the moment. So we're getting uh, music from my computer going through the drummer M500. And it's in bypass mode. Here's a patch. And we'll load this patch. Auto level patch. Okay. Um, here's some more patches. Uh, oops. Here's a DS patch. There's a DS patch loaded into two channels. Um, the Drummer M500 has a compressor, a gate, expander, limiter, um, pan modulation, fader modulation, DSer, and it's it's got also. MIDI functionality and it's also programmable and a lot of people sort of uh, are kind of snobs they say oh just no it's drummers M500 is not a good piece of gear but um, anyways I like it it's not a you can sometimes get them for good prices and if there's something wrong with the drummer M500 the drummer company is very helpful. Very helpful. And this, you can calibrate the M500 all. Um, you know, there's a technical manual that shows you how to calibrate it. Um, and it's just a very uh, nice unit. And uh, some stuff went wrong on it. And the, uh, a very helpful gentleman at Drummer. Um, sent me an email back telling me um, a little bit, the easy things that I could do where I just had to swap like a, one chip in one socket and put it in the other socket and then we started and everything everything fixed itself okay now let's go to the patch bay and let's uh, set up something else on the patch bay
Okay, this is, should be the LXP-15. Okay, so here's, uh, now we just made a couple of uh, tiny, t- tiny telephone patches, and we're into the LXP-15. By the way, you can connect up two or even three devices and chain them together. In any um, configuration, you can have the drummer M500 before the lexicon, or lexicon before the M500. some presets that I made for my lexicon.
now we'll set up my uh, my filter. Okay, now my um, Click Technic DN7454 without any faceplate has been loaded. called minus 10 dB and plus 4 dB and uh, the lexicon I can't remember if there's a switch there might be a switch on the back but it looks like it's a minus 10 BD, dB device so you kind of have to you know boost the volume and then you can start using it so Anyways, I plug back in my Lexicon X Lex P15 and we'll go through a few presets quickly. back to the DN7454. Anyways, the DN7454 is basically, I, I believe it's a device for live sound. But, I mean, in the studio, I think it's a good item to have because um, 
Well, it sounds nice, and with a little bit of programming effort, you can program in um, parametric EQ settings. You can make your own presets. So in a nutshell, that's it, folks. That's my tiny telephone and my three pieces of hardware gear. Thanks for watching.